In parts one and two, we learned what low impact development is and why it's such an important stormwater management practice. But how do we make it happen? A watershed implementation plan will help to coordinate planning efforts that can lead to funding for implementation of low impact development and green infrastructure projects. In addition to improving water quality and preventing dangerous flooding, these projects are proven to be cost effective. Low impact development costs less than conventional stormwater infrastructure over the life of a project and usually even saves dollars on the front end. Our city has spent over a million dollars on drainage projects uh, trying to improve the quality of life for our residents so that we don't have water in people's yards or on our roads. Uh, with new development, obviously, that could cause additional problems going forward. Um, by using low impact development techniques, we may be able to slow the water down and, and impact it upstream so that it has less of an impact downstream. Right now we're finishing up Diamond Head Drive East drainage projects, $134,000 drainage project plus another $30,000 in engineering. Turnberry drainage, we already spent $60,000 in engineering costs plus another $100,000 to fix the problem. Devil's Elbow, we got out to bid. We have a uh, pre-construction meeting today. That's about a $250,000 dredging project because the bayou is full of sediment. That sediment's coming from upstream. So my question with low impact development is, what techniques can we use upstream to prevent having to spend our city's tax dollars on future problems? As you can see, whether at the residential or commercial building scale, or along a street, in a park, or connecting a whole region, these projects add tremendous aesthetic value. This translates to better quality of life with functional and beautiful spaces. Retrofit LID projects intercept existing conventional systems to handle stormwater on site and close to its source. These can be very successful. However, the best low impact development designs are planned and designed prior to any site development, working with the site's existing topography and hydrology and finding opportunities to conserve forested areas. These projects involve urban planners, architects, landscape architects, engineers, ecologists, and other professionals to achieve results that function well for stormwater management, preserve or restore wildlife habitat, and become meaningful places for communities. Well, this, this golf course was constructed in 2004 to 2005, and the origin of the facility uh, began with uh, the Nature Conservancy. In conjunction with the Audubon International, one of the things that we did under the construction of the Preserve Golf Club is we tried to make sure that all water that drained from our facility went through a vegetative uh, filtration system. And this is the area that you can see here uh, behind us. So all these things, some of all parts, they add up to a cleaner environment. While many successful LID and green infrastructure projects have been implemented across the region, cities can help by ensuring their policies support and even incentivize LID through sustainable development best management practices and guidelines included in local ordinances. We love the Mississippi Gulf Coast. There's tons of different cities uh, along 26 miles of beach and each city tells a different story and represents a different culture so you feel like you're traveling all the time you get to just immerse yourself in, in history and art and food i think that our position on the coast and the water is our number one asset for the entire gulf coast maybe except for the the culture and the people uh, but, but water is definitely one or, or 1A. Um, it's a vital part of, of our economy in multiple ways. Tourism, the shrimping industry, the casinos which started out in the water, um, shipbuilding, angles. Um, so water is, is extremely important. It makes the coast what it is. And the wildlife, it's such a great part of here. Now is the time to protect our Gulf Coast through low impact development and green infrastructure stormwater management. Doing so will ensure the legacy of the Gulf Coast for many generations to come.